alien mummies in Nazca, Peru with ancient Greek armor? Researcher claims this is what has been discovered. This is a supposed picture taken from a screenshot of the videos that uh, are included in this article. Well, we know that the Atlanteans were supposedly going all over the world, establishing new cities after the demise of the Atlantis continent. This is according to what thought the Atlantean wrote in the Emerald Tablets, and you'll find a playlist of the videos having details of what was going on with Atlantean technology, air travel, and even space travel. And uh, they were setting up new cities with pyramids built and with uh, advanced technology being used. Now, curious information begins to make its appearance in this way, referring to the amateur discovery of a new cave on the Nazca Plateau, in which mummified bodies of rather extraterrestrial bodies are said to have been found. Extraterrestrial, humanoids, with armor. The information is considered to be of extremely dubious quality, of course, though at the same time it seems particularly interesting as it seems to touch on Greek culture. The man who says he discovered the mummy cave names himself Mario, though most likely it is a nickname or a false name. Mario therefore claims to have been searching for remnants of ancient civilizations in the Nazca Plateau since 1990. He claims to have found many mysterious places in his missions, having been exploring the inhospitable mountains for many years, exploring all the caves while exploring the caves, books related to his explorations and ancient civilizations um, are there, are uh, printed for this. He used every kind of information that fell into his hands to control it and uh, to study it. And that's how he found these caves, he says. Upon discovering the entrance to this cave, he immediately realized that it was something like a grave. Let's remember even in uh, ancient Greece, ancient Egypt, they did uh, use uh, caves as tombs, especially for the wealthy. And they also uh, placed their artifacts in there, their shields, their uh, lances, their shin guards, their swords, things like that, their helmets. So, um, upon discovering the entrance to this cave, he immediately realized that it was something like a grave. In the cave he found two sarcophagi. Inside there were various objects that have not yet um, been studied. There were two medium-sized mummies and many small anthropoids. Anthropoids. I'm translating this from Greek. Yes. They were two medium-sized mummies, many small anthropoids. The largest mummy in the sarcophagus was uh, near some kind of white powder. He claims that the mummies are not from this place, from Earth that is, but from another planet. What's particularly striking is that some photos show a mummy with a crest of the headboard referring to an ancient Greek Spartan, a thorax what he was wearing over his chest, a body armor with symbols referring to the top of the ionic column. It looks like an ionic column with swirls on it. Although Mario took many photos, he refused to show the cave in which they were found, where he found everything he claims to have found, the sarcophagus and even the anthropoids, the white powder, Similarly, he refuses to deliver any items found uh, that, he, uh, that were in the sarcophagus. He claims that he did not want to inform the government or the official scientists of his findings because he was perhaps rightly worried that no one would recognize the discovery and that his life might be in danger. He's also concerned that if he points out the right place, the cave will be destroyed or the findings lost, quote-unquote. Of all the presents, Mario claims to have shown only one-tenth of what of all the findings. Uh, one-tenth of what he found in the cave with its pre the spacious uh, lounge, the spacious area, which is apparently unsafe to be, uh, to be explored, as well as understand since the claims of these discoveries cannot be somehow confirmed. 
each of us, but also experts and skeptics, can be very easily, very easily dismiss the fact that uh, this is fake and a product of imagination. And videos and images as well are not tangible evidence unless first examined, of course, by experts of the, their kind, anthropologists, archaeologists, uh, things, uh, paleontologists of their kind in really reliable laboratories, of course. And I'll leave links below for you for this article and for the videos. Please tell me what you think. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.